Hi everyone, it's me Lee with Victorian Dreams by Lee and I want to say thank you so much for taking your time to be with me. So I had made a purse project share so I'm here to do the tutorial so let's get started. Okay, let me just show everyone that might not have seen the last video, the project. So it is a little purse. I'm going to go through it very fast because if you want to see the six minute video, so um, it has two pockets here. It's six by 17, I think I remember. It's got pages for photos. Photos. Um, there's three of these. There is a pocket in the middle here. Pull this out and then more photos. I think I counted it holds uh, 24 on these three pages and then the pockets. I made it this way so that when you're, if it's like a purse, you're actually looking into it. So, and it has magnets and it has the strap. So, um, and there's the sides and we're going to make this. I'm, I'm going to go quick through this because we, because I've already made a video for it. Let me make sure that this is not following me. Yeah, auto focus is off. Okay, so let's take this off to the side and real fast. Um, this is the paper line through Echo Park and it has including uh, tags. It only has 12 sheets of paper, I think. Yeah, 12, 12 by 12. And so I'm going to cut this up to use and um, mat it so you don't see that. This is what I have left over on half of the paper is uh, two six by six and a little bit left over. And um, this is what will be the other half of the 12 by 12 is what we'll decorate with which um, I won't do the decorating decorating on uh, camera um, I'll give you the paper size at the end um, and there is stickers and I'm only using one or two stickers because I'm going to send the stickers to uh, the nieces and let them decorate it the rest so if you say well it's a little plain um, because I want them to enjoy decorating and putting stickers where they want. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so you're going to need two chipboards that are six by six. Okay, you're going to need one that is three by six and two for the spines that are one by six. Okay, <clears throat> so let's get started. Let's get two pieces of paper um, outside wrap so we're gonna wrap the chipboard you need two at one and you need two at eight and a half by eleven and you tape them together so I've already got the uh, tape on my paper and I am going to go pretty fast on this well I don't know how fast I can really be because I do want to do it right but I'm going to try to go fast. I will link a video for beginners, a uh, video I made to how to make an album and everything. But I'll try to still show you as much here. So I'm going to take it and I have my tape past the six on my scoreboard. And I'm going to take this paper and I'm going to go. Let's not have any tape folding over. I'm going to. Um, go right at the six and I can see my pencil marks are making my paper dirty so I'm gonna wrap the inside of this but I also have a wipey close by because my pencil marks I don't want my white paper to get dirty so that's what happens quite a bit okay so now we're gonna wrap so you know to burnish all tape all score lines and all tape burnish down because of air pockets and you want your creases really good so if I forget to tell you um, please remember to do that so I like um, to take my ruler and 
have a one inch line here guide so that I can try to get it as square and straight as possible. So I do that on on uh, the top and one side so I can get it started. Um, so yeah, let's do that. The Tim Holtz ruler uh, lets you line it up in these squares. Okay. So I already have the tape on the back side and let me tell you how to do this because there's a trick on one piece. <clears throat> so let me actually look at my thing. So you start off with the three by six, then a one by six, six by six, one by six, six by six. So <clears throat> let's get started. And if you are a beginner, then you're going to follow along and uh, hopefully I'm helping you. If you're not a beginner and you're a seasoned crafter on albums, you know, all you probably want is just the measurements and you're good to go. So let's just square this up as best as possible. We'll burnish all that down once we flip it over. Okay, the next, this is a three by six. The next piece is a one by six. Um, hopefully you're going to fast forward because I hate taking y'all's time. You know me, I've said this for years. <laughs> I watch everybody on two speed. And now, oh my gosh, I watch um, YouTube on two speed. Now I'm watching regular TV and I'm like, uh, trying to push a button somehow to make it <laughs> two speed and it doesn't work that way. Um, let me get my spacers. This is two medium chipboard spacers that I use for my spacers. I'm actually on this chipboard. I'm using lightweight and I'm got it by mistake and I'm loving it. But this is two medium weight for my spacers. It's about a one eighth inch thickness. So let's line the one by six up. I could have scooted that over just a hair. Let me see. Yep. I don't like that. It's not totally over. It's not real bad though. Okay. So. I still haven't got to the hint I need to tell you, but I'm going to tell you. So this is a 6x6 six six now, the next piece. Um, I already burnished all my tape score pieces, or not score, but burnished down my tape. Um, okay, so my 6x6. Six six, let's just make sure I take my time and butt this up against this uh, gapper spacer thing. Okay. And lay that down. Okay, now we need our other one by six. Get that pokey tool underneath to release it. The one by six is your spined. One is the top and one is your actual spine. So, um, oh, come on, little tape. Okay. Let's butt it up hard against there so that it will not have that gap like the first one. I'm not going to fret over it because I'm giving these to 10 year olds that are going to use it and within a year it probably won't even be alive. So, okay. Now, the last one. The last one is this one that goes up. And when you close it, it wants to hit right here. 
and so it wants to bow out and it did bow out on mine just a hair um so what i did i'm telling you six by six but i literally cut off one eighth of an inch so that when this piece here at the top comes and folds over it's a little bit by one eighth of an inch smaller and you won't have them the boards touching each other and it gives you just enough gap so you don't have a bow out like a blowout but a bow out <laughs> so I know which way I cut it I made an arrow to make me say go this direction not that direction okay so I cut it it's smaller this direction okay but you still want it tied up to your spacer because it's actually needing to be smaller this right here so hopefully that makes sense so that is one secret of the day and all my mistakes i will tell you and i um always pre-make a project if you go back to all my shabby chic laces which as soon as i move i'm going to get back into that shabby chic too but if you watch all my shabby chic laces you will see that oh no i always make a project i'm going to trim some of this I always make a project prior because I want to know what I'm talking about if I've never made it and um, tell you all the good, the bad, the ugly. Okay. So I just trimmed that and I don't even know how much I trimmed. It looks like an inch, an inch and a, and a eighth actually. Okay. So um, I'm going to take a my um, score thing and I'm actually going to score to make it fold a little easier because I'm using uh, linen uh, 80 pound I'm gonna score all the way around just so that it folds better if things look uneven um, my table's off so it makes things look uneven for some reason on my camera okay so now let's just take our time and this is in the other videos I've showed how to wrap an album this does take the longest this album is quick and easy and I already have my papers and my pages and my pockets all pre-done so it's gonna go really fast once we wrap it the wrapping is I take my bone folder and I get that started here take my bone folder get it started because this top quality paper is very good now that hurt my finger did I do both sides okay okay don't need that anymore let me get a pair of scissors and we're going to cut well let me lay it down make sure know you would think that it would be quicker uh, after doing like 30 albums <laughs> but I still this this one thing I do take my time okay guys so I'm going to cut these squares out at an angle um, well let me help the new ones you can take your spacer and make a line here so that you don't cut too close to those corners those corners you want to have them wrapped nicely so that it doesn't show chipboard but with this project where we're putting our pockets if it shows chipboard 
um, your pockets will hide that. So actually, this is a very good video for hiding just about every mistake. So I'm going to go and cut. See how I cut right at that line? And I, I, I'm used to it now by all eyeballing it. I'm going to go at an angle, go to that line, and then follow. i got to come back this way and follow that line. Okay? You see that? Okay. So let's go at an angle. Go to that line. Let's go at an angle. Go to that line. But I'm right-handed, so i got to come back over here and cut. And cut just on that line until you get to your angle. Okay? At an angle. You want to miter. This is mitering. You want to miter the corners. Mitering is like for woodworking. When you do a corner of a window. Okay, one more. And I did not pre-tape this side down so it is going to take me a little bit longer on this section so fast forward me until we get to the next stage okay and I'll be right here doing this <laughs> so all right I'm going to tape it all down, and I don't know, I haven't uh, edited a video on YouTube in a very long time, but I know I can fast forward this. Um, depending on how long this video is, I may fast forward, or I might just leave it for all the newbies. Um, after you make one or two albums, you are not a newbie anymore, because it just just falls into place pretty easy so I'm just using score tape that I get at the expo I think I buy it for a dollar fifty a roll, but the same company I have seen at the dollar store on YouTube video hauls, I haven't been able to find it for a dollar. I'd buy all of it. I've used this tape for over seven years. This brand, I think someone even gave me the link to where I can buy it and find it. And uh, I need to go back, find that, and buy it because the expo is not until June and I'm running extremely low. Okay, so the tape is on all four sides. We're burnishing, which means to rub down. So we're doing all four sides. You don't want any air. See, there's air on that one. You don't want any air. That air will eventually seep out and bring more air in. Okay, also what I want to do is where this tape right here folds here, it hits like right here. But I also need to have tape on these um, outside pieces. So, I'm sorry, but it's going to be more tape. <laughs> then I have another secret to tell you that happened on this one that has happened one or two times before but not very often i save these i think i want to make a shaker card something something out of these oh here i gotta open a new one so i'll show you what that tape is forever in time paper craft collection double-sided and it is by multicraft www.multicraft.ca hmm. so Yeah, I had a boo-boo on this one that I was able to fix quite easy, and I'll show you in just a second after I get this done. Now, I'm only doing the outside, 
uh, pieces. I'm not doing the inside yet because I feel like when I was doing that before putting tape everywhere, I was wasting tape. Now, if I was making this to sell, um, my edges and everything would be perfectly straight. I would take my time like you wouldn't believe. It would take me a five hour project instead of a one or a one and a half hour project because they would get top quality. And yes, I do make albums to sell. I'm really considering making album kits just to give you the chipboard pre-cut and the um, paper and everything so okay so now let's just wrap that after we burnish down everything I say five hours this would be five but if it's a big album it could be even more okay so let's just start here This does take just a hot minute. Okay. I am going to take art glitter glue. It dries clear. Art glitter glue is called art glitter because they used to use it because of glitter and it dries clear with glitter but now they've figured out that this is used more for everything than just glitter but they kept the original name I googled it researched it where the tape does not always go to the edge I like to use just a little bit of art glitter glue because um, I want a good seal and if it squirts out then that's good too because um, it just tells me it got to the edge so let's push all this down okay and it goes down pretty quick and easy and nice because we had pre prepared it and then there is a little right there at the edge and we will just wipe that up and I'll get it off my fingers with the wipey because that pencil and dirty stuff up okay let's get ready this, this side we already pulled the tape off of it a little bit pull the tape off Okay, we're going to this side and we have to take off this. Let's just go ahead. Let's just go ahead and take that all off because Okay, so we want this corner, well, look guys, even though I um, mitered it and everything, you're seeing that white right there, but guess what, of all projects, it can be covered because of the pockets, so the miter was too close this side I can see but this side look how close look how close that mitered edge is compared to this side so whoo I'm glad I can fix this on a project a lot of people won't show mistakes but hey it's just a paper mistake and thank goodness it can be covered up 
So this tape is going to be up here. This other tape is down here. So let's fold it. And the glue is coming out. Let's clean our fingers. And I'm going to show you one more time because I cut too close. But my pocket is going to sit right on that. Thank goodness this project allows it. So, okay, now see how this side, how I cut further out. And I don't know, I must have had it at the wrong angle. But um, so what you do is you push, push it right in where your uh, fingernail and that chipboard and you push it in and I can see the indent and then let's put our tape or excuse me let's put our glue where we need our glue um, let's put it on the tape where it didn't get that close to the edge just run a little I mean it's a little tiny bead and put some here Okay, now I already pushed that in. Okay, I got two glasses on right here. One flipped off my head, and I have my readers and see I can see the bubbles I'm pushing those bubbles out and making this totally flat okay so that edge does not show the corner oops I dropped my glue so anyway but I'm so glad that this is the right project to show you a mistake that can be fixed and hey guess what if you're not putting a pocket here get white paint or white marker and just color that tip in okay it's all fixable all right so now I need to once again pinch down that corner pinch down that corner at the same time because we're covering two corners at the same time okay that's in my way I see a little bit of tape over this paper, but I know I'm fixing to cover it with um, wrapping paper for the inside. So let's get the glue off of me because I feel it. Let's burnish this down because we're done. Okay, now. This is our top, so let's go ahead and find that crease, find that crease, find that crease, find that crease. It's just to help your paper. And see right here is the seam of the two papers that went together. Let's see if I can get that in focus. And uh, it's on the chipboard. It's not in the middle of this crease. So always be mindful of where you're putting the chipboard if you need to move it. Because remember, we cut extra off of this side. Be mindful that this paper that you added the two sheets together is always in the middle of a chipboard. Okay, so we're taking our time. And we're barely, barely starting it. And massaging it into place see it's it's wanting to go because I pre scored that okay see how there it is okay and remember how I took off see how it's flat this is flat on here so see the spacing let me see if you can see it See how there's just a hair and it's not hitting on that board. It's not hitting on that board and wanting a bow. 
there's just a hair spacing and see how much flatter that is so there we go guys all right so next we have let me take my readers off we have these two sheets next that we need we need a inside wrap we need one five and seven eighths by eleven and we need one inside wrap five and seven eighths by seven or seven and a half depending on how thick it was <coughs> so let me erase that just in case it does show up I should have pre-taped these down and I didn't I did so much prep work for y'all and did not do this sorry but that's okay you can fast forward again see how I missed the tape see how I missed the tape and it went on a curve that's why I use the glue with tape to make sure that all edges mostly the edges are very important to have the glue because the air will want to get up underneath that edge and air wants to get up underneath your whole project because people wonder why are you using both it's that nasty air that we need to breathe with will get us I'm gonna just run a few maybe four to five this is pretty long so just putting it in spacing probably four pieces here well I see a mistake I should have had this um, where I put the tape and put it down because uh, it's going to show so let me see where it's going to show at to make sure where's the best to hide it okay so I'm going to hide it on this main six by six piece right here um, thank goodness I'm going to put an actual piece of decorative paper here so make sure <laughs> that if you do any writing on your notes that you put it down on this okay that's probably only for people that do tutorials but I'm glad I saw that so let's get ready to put this down after we have it wrapped this goes so fast I mean probably 15 minutes because I have it all prepped and it's quick and easy the three pages really become one and um, and then you got the pockets so just hang in there guys so let me okay let me tell you something that I did I didn't put enough tape down on my um, before I do this I didn't put enough tape down on here the first time <clears throat> and it very seldom happens to me so I'm gonna put extra tape here because I had a massive air pocket on this one and I didn't put any tape on this one and you think why do I need to add more tape because this has tape well I had such an air pocket that I had to slit a hole in it and I'll show you but you won't be able to see it I had to slit a hole in this about that wide get this tip underneath there on both sides and put glue on it um, and then put my decorative paper on top because it has such an air pocket and I'm like but only because I didn't have enough glue of some sort and the glue would have been uh, the glue would have been the um, tape or wet glue whichever one so I don't want that problem again so once again I'm putting on the ed putting it on the edges for sure and just using just a little bit extra um, so that it doesn't happen and I am going to put a little glue down on my paper and it will uh, 
not have that problem again. If you think about it, I think the glue is costing me not even five cent for maybe ten cent for the whole project. So let's just use the ten cent out of our pocket for the project to be right. Take that one extra step. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see um, air pockets. All right, so let's get all this up. I don't know how far this goes, so I'm going to have to take all my tape off. Sorry, but I don't see enough tape right here, so I'm going to add just two more pieces. I hear Johnny in there fussing to the company that does the toll tags. They're double charging us on the tolls, and I can hear Johnny in there fussing. So my concentration is like, rah! <laughs> so anyway, oh, poor thing. But yeah, we're getting double charged tolls. He's I can hear him giving him the date of okay, on this I'm getting charged with y'all and with this <laughs> so hopefully he's being very nice. Oh Remember, I want my writing to be covered up by uh, decorative paper. And it's a very tight. And see, it still shows that one corner right there. Don't worry, my pocket is saving the day. Y'all hear the bubbles? I kind of, in a way, want to show you how to fix it with that big bubble I have so I can show y'all, but I kind of don't. <laughs> so, okay, let's flip it around. And our other one. Will fit right here. So let's put the tape on this side. This needs to be seven. It says five and this. No, no, no. Well, the length. I don't know how long you want it to wrap over. So I put seven to seven and a half but I like it having a big space of a, of a couple of inches to wrap on top of the other white but what I meant was the five and seven eighths is very close you only have um, one sixteenth on each side to thread that paper in between your chipboards uh, frame so but I like a little extra length this way um, just to hold it we already have the tape on the frame so this paper project wrap right here hopefully will go a hair faster He's saying it's unconstitutional. We're being double taxed. Oh, he is 
working someone's nerves i'm sure with oh how do i fix this and how did i get stuck with this customer because he's telling the truth <laughs> It's not a whole lot of glue on there if you can see it. Okay, so now let me put this here and I got glue on my fingers and I don't want it to get on my paper. So let me wipey it before I get it all messy because this white. <laughs> so now see that piece of glue had to get it off. Okay. And I can see glue coming out here. So yeah, I have um, almost an inch lap over that. I could have done it at seven, but I would have hated for it to be too short for the measurements. Okay, so once again, we are going to see that glue I don't want on my paper so once again we are going to find that crease and help it along I can see it a little bit well, let's see there and there there and there so let's help it along I'm not pushing real hard um, but let's just help it along before we get it going okay there's that one but we need to do this one first that's our lid flap down that's our top cover come on there we go and there we go Look, even though we're using wipes, I still get glue on me. Okay. Okay. Note to self. Okay, I have reminders here. Reminder to make uh, after you put your decorative paper. So put X here and an X here. The decorative paper is going to hide. It's going to hide those X's. Okay. But you need to put two holes here for your lace so go ahead and put two holes here and that tells you after your decorative papers on to punch two holes and your lace okay so I punched it through here with the decorative paper but on the inside my decorative paper covered the lace and it was taped down and the lace went it was laying down like that from both sides and going through the hole and it was taped down and then taped on here so it's pretty secure okay and also where your uh, magnets are going you know you want to put a magnet here and you know you want to put a magnet here so you put your two magnets together and put it around about this location down like a half an inch up. So those are your reminders. These two X's are your reminders before the mat, before you do decorative paper here and decorative paper here, put your magnets down. Or if you want a Velcro closure, Velcro goes last. Um, I kind of like a Velcro closure in some ways too. These magnets, um, does give it a raised and remember the two X's for your holes for your lace because I don't think I'm going to go that far because I'm not going to show you decorative paper 
So those are my reminders. If you stay to the very end of this video, I will tell you what size decorative paper goes for your um, for your um, project. Okay, next piece we need is so this is our project. This is this is our purse, guys. So. Let me show you what I'm fixing to show you. I am fixing to show you the placement of these pages. Not on the first one, on the six by six that we took uh, one eighth off. On this one by six is where your pages are going to go. And it's white, but it's right in this crease. We're doing the pages. And what you need is inside pages two at five and three fourths by 11. Two at five and three fourths by eleven. You score at five and one fourth and five and three fourths. So you would take and on the eleven long, you score at five and one fourth and five and three fourths, and it gives you a gusset. And I already put tape down on both of mine. Okay. So let's do our pages. And because we want that pocket, so what we're going to do is we're gluing, well, not gluing, we're taping. I put tape on the bottom hinge and I put tape on two sides. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape these two together. And it will then stand up like that. And then it will have a pocket inside here. And then we will take these two pieces and we'll stick right on that. Okay. So I already burnished everything down. So let's take these two pieces off first. We don't need another piece there. The tapes for the hinges are in the inside, inside of the score lines. Okay, so I'm going to hide this writing inside the pocket. Okay, so just take your time. Let me get my reading glasses on because white on white is hard to see. So I'm going to, and it really shores up the squareness of this too. I'm going to put my fingers and hopefully get it totally lined up. First try, close enough, close enough. Okay, so hopefully you understand what I just did. Okay, so there's my pocket for my project okay and I pinched it really hard it's this it's a it's light burnishing but since we need to burnish we'll do that okay now I already burnished that I am going to use glue on this because it is my hinge so what you do is you take these two pieces and there's your pages we are going to add flip pages and I have that measurement. So what you do is you very carefully and you don't have a lot of space. You literally have to thread that needle. I mean, it is just a hair on each side and you put it in between here. Okay. So let's take the pages and get the tape off. And the pages are down. This is how quick and easy this part is. I see glue. I see glue on my fingers and I don't want this paper to get all dirty. Okay. And I want to, because this is like a hidden hinge type thing, Um, and it gets all the 
wear and tear of the project I am putting glue down this idea came from a girl off of Pinterest and her blog and her name was Lori something and I have got to find it again and give you that link um, this was and the six by six size um, not the pocket and all the other pockets I'm going to do and, and other stuff but this just this hinge thing was so that was really nice so I am squaring up all my pages right here see how everything is matching and squaring up and then I am going to take my time and I want it centered in between here as equal as possible and in between those score lines so Get it over just there we go nope we have to take a wipey and clean the tape get it as straight as possible okay there we go that's in there okay let's make sure I don't have any glue to mess anything up and I don't let me make sure I don't have any glue on this side so what it feels like when you look at it is it's like a waterfall almost see how it made like a waterfall here it's almost like that so let's burnish this down so that that glue and tape will take a hold and there's our pages okay now I have three pages for you to follow along if you want to make it just like mine you can add as many flip pages as you want you aren't going to be able to add more than the three pages here because there's no more room on that spine if you want this book bigger just make these two one inch spines wider okay so there is the pages now we're going to do the flips and I did a flip on each page so we're gonna have three of these but you can take this and also have it on this side but it would be then flipping down at you but but I knew I couldn't add more flip pages or more pages because I knew I only had so many sheets for that paper pad you know you need to keep an eye on how many sheets you have in your paper pad to how many pages you want if you want it all matchy okay so we need this is the extra pages for the flips I already scored I mean I already scored it but I already punched my decorative and they're going right here so what we need is three of them at five and a half by five and three fourths three of them and you want to do six and put them on both sides you can or you can always have them go this direction but then that would be a different size because you can see right here it would you would have to cut off like a half an inch and it open that way um you score on the five and one half side for a half an inch so you go to the five and one half side let me go ahead and show you you go to the five and one half and you score one half inch all the way down because then when you turn it you put it on here okay and then you burnish all those score lines so let's put and I all I do is glue these on so we got the three of them and I already did my decorative decorating so let's put the glue on um, these and the reason why I only use glue and not tape is if I need to move it around I do need that uh, extra time to wiggle it in so I put it up against the same size five and three fourths size and it goes right there and we put it on and there so 
and we burnish it down. Make sure no glue is sticking out because you don't want glue to then uh, mess up. So let's do our next one. See guys, all we have to do next is just our pockets and then you just decorate it with whatever paper you have. I'm not going to show you the decorating of the paper because that takes a lot of time. Um, so this one is the middle one and we have the hidden pocket but we are still going to the edge to the edge and line that up okay no glue came out burnish it down and to the next one this is very quick and easy project. How many minutes am I into this? Not even an hour. Um, just add an hour and we have the two pockets. So yeah, we're pretty much almost done. Okay, so we got the glue. Go into the last pocket. I designed it so that it would open up to me, but if it doesn't matter which way it opens to you, so my finger tells me it's even and my finger on this side tells me it's even and then we push down pinch it together and then we come in here there's no glue and we burnish okay so there's our pages there's our pages there's our pages now we're going to do the pockets okay guys if you don't want to make this a purse and you just want this to be a gate fold open and you want it to open you could do that and just change up where you're putting these pages could flip this way on this side or this could be your album and say voila voila you know it doesn't have to be a purse it could be just an album <coughs> that opens like that or twist it and open like this it doesn't have to be a purse it's just an album only time it becomes a purse is once we punch and put the lace up here and have it the direction that the paper needs to be. <coughs> okay, so we're going to do the pockets and we're done. Okay, we need to do the bigger pockets first, so let's not show, get you confused. Two pockets, one on this <coughs> six by six frame and one on this six by six frame. And they need to be two at four and one half by seven so this is the four and one half this is showing four because half of it's down here scored and it gets scored one half inch on three sides so you see I already took the bulk of those corners out and mitered them see the miterness okay so we need two of them and I already did my decorative so let's glue these down so I glue the bottom one first and I tack it and hold it for just a second and it's it usually holds pretty quick but anyway it's not wanting to work <laughs> but let's just glue it all down real fast I don't put glue where those punches are. I stay off of that. Okay. I usually put a piece of paper right here inside to hide it, but um, I'll work that out on my own because I want to show y'all this project. But I like putting the paper down first. Okay, so we are putting it as close to the edge and putting it inside there. I have glue on my fingers, so I'm being careful of not. Um, Putting it on the project. OK, 
Okay, so there's our one pocket. And guess what that pocket did? Remember that corner that showed the white? Well, it just hit it. Okay, so now burnish those down. Okay, now we're going to do the next pocket because I want it all facing me. So let's do the next one. I would do the decorative, but the decorative paper is smaller because we don't need it to go all the way down. We saved about three or four inches. So I'll tell you that size of that decorative paper. I think I wrote it down. But if I didn't, I think I did. But if I didn't, you don't need to put decorative paper all in here. You can use that to make a tag or, or uh, I actually used it to decorate these panels. Okay. So this is getting messy. Got to fold it in. Fold those in like that. And stay off the score line right above the score line and scoot it over so it's right in there because it's the same size as your chipboard so you want it to be um, right on the chipboard line and off the score line so there we go Yep, nothing's hanging out. So, okay, now we're going to do the other two pockets and we're done. So, the two smaller pockets. So, let's remind you you have this size pocket and then the second size pocket. Um, you have two. So, see this piece of uh, polka dot of paper got cut off right about here. So, you saved three inches. And then you can use it for right here. See? Okay, so those two pockets. Let's do the last pocket. And um, so it is two pieces of paper, three inches by seven. And you score at one half on three sides, one half inch. And I mitered to get rid of the bulk. So, and I um, burnished them all down. So let's put our glue. And then I'll tell you the paper, decorative paper sizes, to try to help you as much as possible. And let's put the glue here. And I'm going to get glue on me. <laughs> let's put the glue here. So they go on top of the other pockets. So it's like a little wallet where you want to do um, credit cards. So it is exactly the same size as your chipboard. So let's have it exactly on the other one on the bottom and on the sides. So there we go. I'll show you up close. So, see the see how it it's off that score line. Okay, so let's do our last one right here on the front. Johnny's in there telling our son, the party chief, how to. Uh, do something in the field. We are land surveyors. So if you hear talking in the background, that's what he's doing on the phone. He's on the computer telling him coordinates and everything. So let me tell him I can hear. Johnny, I can hear you. He's talking kind of loud. Okay, so now let's make sure that that pocket stays inside 
our project because it's the same size and scoot it up. Ooh, thank goodness it was glue because I had to scoot it up a hair. Make sure it's all good to go. And if it's not exactly um, straight and all, just move it because you're using glue. And thank goodness everything is white because it all blends. Okay, so that's what it looks like. There's our project. There's our two pockets. There's our pages. There's our pages. There is that hidden pocket. There's our pages, and then there's our two pockets. Okay, so the only thing I'm not telling you is you get your magnet, you put tape on the magnet here, and you glue it down. <clears throat> then you put this, and it tells you, and then you close it, and it will want to go right where you want it. I have it way up here, but it actually needs to go further down. And you tape that together, and then you put your um, decorative paper. After your decorative paper is here, punch a hole. But don't punch the hole on your decorative paper here, because you want to hide. Punch the hole, and you want to hide your lace. And it looks like that, and it goes through the hole, and like that. And you tape it over, and it gives it secure. So... Let's just do a little walk through. So let's see if I have the paper size for you. Um, pocket paper sizes. Okay, write this down. Pocket paper size. Two of the pockets are going to be five and three fourths by three, which would be this one, five and three fourths by three. Two of the, this is decorative paper, guys. These, so you need two, one small, one large. So two are five and three fourths by three for the paper, decorative paper. The purple is five and three fourths by three. The star is five and three fourths by one and a half. Okay. So you need that. Um, uh, paper size on pages. You need six for five and a half by five. Five and a half by five. And these are these flip ones. You got front and back. Okay. So these flip ones are five and a half by five. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Five and a half by five. I'm sorry. Um, are these, are the big ones. They're the big ones. Five and a half by five is, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. <clears throat> and for the that's okay and if your paper if you use your pockets and it has this it's going to be different depending on your scrolling so i don't know if i would trust those measurements unless you have the exact same uh edge cutter so that might not help you me giving you these sizes actually but i'm going to go ahead and give them to you um with the edge cut with this edge cut here my paper was five and a half by three and three fourths. But I'm worried about giving you those uh, sizes because your edger is gonna be so different. Outside frame paper size. Okay, so outside frame paper size is two at one inch these little ones, two at one inch and, and five and three fourths, because I took one eighth all the way around. So um, let me show you. This paper size, the polka dot and the yellow was one inch by five and three fourths. You need two at five and three fourths by five and three fourths is this one. 
and this one, but make sure it's going the direction you need to because see it's backwards here because when you flip it up, make sure it's the right direction. So this is two of them at five and three fourths by five and three fourths because it's got a one eighth. And then <clears throat> this little lip right here is um, two and three fourths by five and three fourths. Okay. Paper size inside flap. Um, three and five fourths. So the inside, the inside on the hardware is the same as the outside. Okay. I hope that helps you. Um, I'm just not going to cover it because I have. It takes a lot of time to trim it and everything. <clears throat> Guys, I wanted to remind you um, that I have a giveaway going on right now, and it's ending. Gosh, I want to say May 18th, and uh, all you have to do is share the giveaway video or part one and two of actually part two and three of the house uh, mini album I made or share um, the giveaway video and I'm going to link the giveaway video to you because then that has all the links and has all the information it's almost like a hundred dollars worth of supplies you get this house uh, supplies to make your own mini album and it's the lid and if you open it um, it is a house mini album and I just want people to realize that yes I do make videos of just not shabby chic stuff but it's albums too so that's why I wanted to do a video to get the word out that you know I'm making videos help my sub my my subs grow and I was at 2500 and and was so busy with life that I didn't say thank you and now I'm at 2700 and I'm just now getting to say thank you so it's a $100 giveaway I'm going to give you the uh, supplies to make a house mini album and then because I'm moving I have two and three of everything so I am going to shove a medium size box um, of just goodies to give you so I will put that link down below and then one lady said you know I don't use Facebook so I don't want to so I don't share can I make a VR a video request or response video response and I said oh my gosh yes so she made a video response and I should have put that in the beginning to make a video response for me um, to be a part of the giveaway so um, I think I'm going to make a reminder video about the giveaway. So anyway, um, if you would please join me in uh, spreading the word to let people know that I do make cute videos. I think they're cute. So hopefully um, other people will find me and, and, you know, sharing is caring. So anyway, guys, here is the video. And if you are stuck and you are struggling um, I will decorate everything and if someone comments saying show me the magnets or velcro and show me that lace I will uh, wait a couple of days to finish this project to see if you need any help um, my links are all down below my Facebook Victorian Dreams by Lee blog uh, my group glue gun chronicles please if you're in my group will you just share because the more you share, the more active the group is, and I would love that. Um, and we do. Um, and uh, the giveaway link will be down below. And the beginner's videos of how to make albums will be down below. Because this is 6x6. Six six. This is like a double album because there's so many extra pieces. But um, just a 6x6 six six album is cute too and I just did something there and gave my head all kind of ideas <laughs> so anyway um, I hope you like this uh, tutorial I hope that um, 
that you become a subby of mine, ring that bell because you never know when I'm going to make a video because I don't even know when I get a chance because of building a house, moving, packing, own our own business and uh, other stuff that I do on a daily basis. I am quite busy, but hey, this is me time and I love being right here crafting and being with y'all. So thank you guys. Um, I hope this helped. I hope this hurt or helps you not hurt you i hope this helps you in your crafting endeavors um have a blessed day thank you